With new information this morning on the more than 100 arrests at UMass Amherst on Tuesday night as the community there deals with the university's response to the reestablishment of the pro-Palestinian encampment. Dwight, the news reporter Duncan McLean is live in Amherst with reaction from UMass Chancellor Javier Reyes. Rich Taylor, that statement from the chancellor issued late last night shed new light on the decision making in his response to call in police force on Tuesday night and outlined steps for further dialogue here on campus. That statement opened with Chancellor Reyes saying that he made the decision to disband the encampment with police force to ensure the safety and well being of students and members of the campus community. 132 total people were arrested, including 70 UMass Amherst students and six UMass Amherst. Faculty members. Reyes continued to say he spent Wednesday meeting with students, faculty, staff, and campus stakeholder groups, including conversations about discipline for those involved in the protest. Reyes also called for a special meeting of both the Student Government Association and Faculty Senate next week so that he and the university's leadership team can engage in dialogue and answer questions about what he called the challenging episode. Members of that Student Government Association held a rally at the site of the former encampment yesterday afternoon, drawing up support for a vote of no confidence in the chancellor. The ACLU of Massachusetts, as well as the Massachusetts Teachers Association, also issued statements on the response by the university condemning the use of police force. You can find those statements in full on our website, wwlp.com. Working for you live in Amherst, Duncan McLean, 22 News.